Good morning from a very rainy England. Oh, my camera lens is not open. There it is. Yeah, it's sunny, it's raining. We're not quite sure what's going on. We've got Jamie Kay. Hey, <laughs> woo woo. We've got ML and we've got a rather broken Sora. Uh, so, yeah, as you guys know, we wrecked the diff at Driftland. Yeah, luckily for me, my old mucker Jay had a spare diff uh, ready, all welded, ready to go. So, yeah, he's currently swapping it over. We need to be at King of the Ring in about two hours ago. Two, yeah, <laughs> about two hours ago. Um, when we're going to try and make it for qualifying at six o'clock. I won't, probably won't get any practicing, but fingers crossed it should be relatively simple. Famous last words. Um, so yeah, we're going to change the diff and then drag the old girl down to King of the Ring. His car sitting under the cover, waiting for some mental door on door action. This is a spare subframe he's got, and yeah, we just literally re removed the diff now. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty good for me. It means I haven't got to find a diff and I haven't got to get one welded, but yeah, I would need to find another spare diff because obviously I'm using up one of his. See, we're not quite sure why the diff broke. I mean, it's, it's lasted a lot. Did we ever change your oil in it? Did I ever change your oil? Nope. No. Jay has been telling me to change your oil in it for that the last six months. I didn't, and then it exploded. Um, so yeah, it started making a huge amount of rattling noise at Driftland, and then we got to a stage where the car wouldn't actually move. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, it's gonna be good for skids. There's the old Volvo. You'll remember from the previous episode called How to Buy a Car for 20 pound a packet of crisps. <laughs> Jay still got it. This is the new conversion kit Jay will be running on his one J. The problem we have is R154s are few, uh, pretty fucking expensive and they're not actually that reliable long, long term if you're running big power, they're not great are they? Yeah, it seems anything over like 450, 500, that tends to last. So yeah, the whole, whole idea of this is basically BMW boxes are much, much cheaper than R154s. You can pick up a ZF box, what Jay, for 100 quid, 50 quid? Yeah, Tough that's not much. Yeah. Well, you use, use a 320D box. And they're, and they're common, they're, there's loads of them around. Common, yeah. So yeah, the good thing about using the BM boxes, they're very cheap to buy, they're very strong and they're really common. Uh, so yeah, they're really easy to replace if you do break them. R154s literally go for about 1,500 quid these days, so they're stupidly expensive. And they're not, they're not bad boxes if you're running sort of 350, 400 horsepower, they're fine. When you start getting to 500 horsepower, as we've demonstrated in the past, they do sort of seem to get destroyed. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a relatively cheap and robust gearbox solution for your JZ motor, then I would highly consider ABC and a bit of ZF. Let's carry on with said diff. Oh, I want to pop that. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. You look at this, man. I can always rely on me, old Jays. On the fucking on the floor, in the wet, pissing about. Right, and this is the new, well, not new, but the, the used diff that we've got that's already welded, ready to, ready to go in. Fingers crossed it lasts. Good thing about King of the Ring, it's a, it's a wet track and it's pissing down with rain, so yeah, it's not going to put a lot of stress on the uh, on the diff, which is ideal. I maybe might have blown it up because I was running West Lakes and then it got a bit dry when I was at Driftland. So yeah, this is how the car is sitting since Driftland. The only thing I really did was touch the wall a couple of times, so this panel's come in a tiny bit, the quarter, but it's actually relatively how it looked before I, I started. Well, the one stupid thing I did is I spent ages fitting this light and then I couldn't actually get to the lock, which was a bit thick. So I had to actually crowbar the light back out just to get to the lock, but yeah. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Quickly look around the front. We are sporting some lovely stickers now. Literally stick it up to the max, bit of strong flex. Outsiders. So yeah, big up Dave. Dave was an absolute legend. Let me stay at his house up in Scotland. Um, so yeah, massive, massive kudos to him. He's a he's a lovely bugger. You ready to catch it, Toby? Right, I'm ready. My hands are ready. Ready? Toby, catch Three, it. Three, two. No, I missed it, man. Oh man. So yeah, that is how you remove a, a diff like a boss. Right, old diff. New diff. Sounds like shit. Yeah, it won't even rotate. Yeah. New one. Mmm, nom nom. Yeah, that is a working diff. Oh, what are you saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> diff in. 
So yeah, big big kudos to Jamie K because he really does go beyond the call of duty to help help out this old mucker. But yeah, as you guys can see, we have one diff in place. So we're gonna quickly pack up, put all the tools away, and yeah, put our put our foot down. Right, we are ready to rumble. We are about an hour and 20 minutes away and qualifying starts in an hour. So yeah, not sure if uh, we're gonna make it, but fingers crossed. So yeah, soil's all good to go. The other problem we just found out, another fucking problem is that he's stuck in second gear. Uh, luckily I only really need second gear for this track, so maybe we can just leave it in second gear and hopefully it'll work. But um, yeah, that might cause us a bit of an issue. But we're gonna drive down there and cross our fingers and fingers crossed we can, we can do a skid. Uh, so yeah, about an hour, hour to go. As you guys can see, the traffic is appalling. We're going over the uh, the dot for crossing. Uh, yeah, traffic is notorious around here, so fingers crossed we get there in time. I might only get to literally do a couple of qualifying runs as my as my practice, so uh, fucking hell. Fingers crossed I qualify, but yeah, should, should be there in about, hopefully about half an hour. Yeah, we're fucking here, man. It's 6.42, qualifying started at 6, so fuck knows. Then let's get in there, get the car off, and see if it actually works. Got my driver's band, King the Ring, big up Bagsy. Good luck, right, hopefully man. next time Cheers you'll turns. turn up before. Sorry, man. Five minutes fuck it. Yeah, I thought I'll you were. Let you guys know that you're coming down, yeah? Do I just go, go straight down there? Uh, st go straight down, just follow this road round to the left, that'll take you into the pits. Just find somewhere to Park unload and unload and just join the queue. Right, There'll man. be a queue down Sweet. there. So Cheers. Just nice be as quick do. as you can. Cool. Yeah. We'll do. Thanks guys. Woo woo! Fat skids! So yeah, that's famous old Bagsy Monster Energy Driver. I'm sure he can uh, teach me a thing or two. <laughs> So yeah, we're currently having a little bit of a nightmare. We're stuck in fourth gear. So, uh, so yeah, unfortunately I don't have 700 horsepower, so <laughs> we can't do a skid currently. We're gonna see if we can try and ram it in second and uh, get the fucking thing working. And the shifter snapped. And the shifter, yeah, and the shifter snapped as well, just to make it even easier. <laughs> so yeah, currently not looking good. We're still stuck in fourth. Uh, all we can really do is let the gearbox warm up and maybe miracles will happen and it will come out of fourth. Yeah, it looks like we might not be able to do a skid again at King of the Ring. Yeah, we're just currently facing the uh, warming the gearbox up, spinning the wheels, trying to get the oil a little bit hotter, so fingers crossed. Fresh oil in it, you never know. Is this how you normally top up a gearbox? <laughs> From the top, like the these actually. Right, yeah. you've got a bit of leeway. About like 20 minutes. Oh, so, cheers for doing that. I appreciate it, fella. We're just going, man. Send them up when there's about two cars left to go. Come and give me a shout, and then we'll say yeah or no. So I appreciate your time, man. Right. Cheers, fella. So, right, yeah, unfortunately, the saw is fucked, but this very kind gentleman called Steve. Where's Steve? <laughs> He's very kindly lending me his E36. So, yeah, fingers crossed I don't smash it. What is it, Steve? 328? 328, yeah. It's got everything needed for a skid. Let's give it a bash. But Steve has been a fucking star and lending me his car. <laughs> He's not going to run me through it. <laughs> Obviously, a push button. Let's start. Windows. Yeah. Four handle don't work, so you've got to lean for the window. Alright, uh, to open it up. To open it up. Alright, cool, no, man. Hydro, fucking sweet. Hydro, gear stick. At least, you, at least you've got a fucking gear stick. Yeah. I haven't got one. That's alright. That's, that's it, yeah? Other than that, mate. And just ignition on and start her up, yeah? Double crack, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Cheers, Steve. Luck, fucking star, man. <laughs> so yeah, here we are in Steve's E36. Fucking hell. This is my second time driving one. Ready? Nice one. All right, so yeah, we're about to go out. So yeah, wish me luck, YouTubers. I'm in a totally different car. I've never driven this car, but I'm gonna fucking do my absolute best to, to uh, do some nice skids and hopefully not right of his car because I think he's qualified and if I write his car off he won't be able to drive so I'm really not looking to do that. 
I'm not sure how I did, but uh, I, the first run was fucking terrible. The second run, yeah, not too sure. Definitely, uh, definitely a different car to skids. Fuck me. The rain was so bad at one point that the marshal couldn't even see the track. So God knows what you guys were looking at. But anyway, I'm um, going into qualifying. Uh, I'm going to announce obviously the top 32, or Ricky is, and we're going to announce the battles who you're against. Yeah, unfortunately, ML didn't qualify. I tried my best. Um, Why does your head look really big in that? Because I've got a massive brain. I've <laughs> <laughs> got a massive brain. No, I've got a fucking pea brain. Um, anyway. Anyway, yeah, first lap. Uh, I spun and I was just trying to see where the fucking clipping points were. Second lap, I did better, yeah. but I stopped halfway through the lap. Yeah, so so whether that helped me, whether not completing the run maybe didn't help, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, long and story short, I didn't qualify. But um, my m old mucker, Jamie Kay, absolute fucking legend. He went beyond the call of duty to get the car ready. Unfortunately, the fucking shifter snapped off and we were stuck in fourth. Uh, on hindsight, I probably should have tried using the Sora, but I didn't. He was very kind to lend me his car. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit getting used to, but I did my best. As my mother always said, try your hardest, which I did. Yeah, we're just going to chill out for sort of five, ten minutes, and then we'll go and watch a bit of King of the Ring and have some fun. Peace. Peace. Peace.